Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a times a, which can be written as a squared. That's the same thing multiplying, and we have 9 raised to the power x or squared equals to 60 from here. This also follows when we have a raised to the power m or raised to the power n. This same thing as a raised to the power m. This this power multiplies, and we have 9 raised to the power 2x equals to 60 from here. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. And this here we have log 9 raised to the power 2x equals to log 60 on this side. That is, here we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. Then what we have here becomes 2x log 9 equals to log 60 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. Let us divide this side by log 9. Also divide this side by log 9. That is here, log 9 cancelled each other. We have 2x left equals to log 60 over log 9. And from here, 60 can be written as 3 times 20. Then what we have here becomes 2x equals to log 3 times 20 over log 9. Then, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. This, what we have here becomes 2x equals to log 3 plus log 20 over log 9. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 20 over log 9. Then also here, we can write 20 as 4 times 5, which implies we have 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 times 5 over log 9. Then this also follows the law of logarithm and this becomes 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 9. Then here also we separate this into two fractions. And what we have becomes 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. Then from here, we can express 9 as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared, and also 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. Then what we have here becomes 2x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 squared over log 3 squared plus log 5 
over log 3 squared. Then here we apply the power of log 2 comes here, also here, then from here, and also from here. And we have 2x equals to log 3 over 2 log 3 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3 then next step here we have log 3 cancel each other 1 over 2 left here. this is 2x equals to 1 over 2 plus here 2 cancel each other we have log 2 over log 3 plus here we can write as 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3 then next step here we apply change of base and when we have log a over log b this is same thing as log a to base b as is here we have 2x equals to 1 over 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 3 then we bring this together as one fractions and we have 2x equals to the same here that's 2 and here we have 1 plus this becomes 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 here to remove this two here, multiply this side by one over two. Multiply this side by one over two. Also multiply this side by one over two. Now this here two cancel each other. Then we have x equals to one plus two log two base three plus log five base three all over two times two here. That's four. This is the value of x here. We have 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4 then what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4 times also 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then here we have same base multiplying. When we have a raised to power m times a raised to power also same power we have m. It's same thing as a raised to power m plus m. That's 2m. That is this is same thing as 9 raised to power. 2 times 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then here, yeah, this power multiplies 2 here 1, 2 here 2. We have 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 is 3 over 2 here is equal to 60 on this side then also we can write 9 as 3 square which is raised to power 1 plus when we reverse this 12 this becomes log 2 square is 3 plus log 5 is 3 all over 2 is it equal to 60 on this side then this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other. 
And what we have becomes 3 raised to the power 1 plus log 2 squared. That's 4. Base 3 plus log 5. Base 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then from here, this follows the law of indices. We can write this as 3 raised to the power 1 times 3 raised to the power log 4. Base 3. Times 3 raised to the power log 5. Base 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then 3 raised to the power 1, that's 3 times this follows. And we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. This is the same thing as 4 times 5, which is equals to 60 from here. That is, yeah, 3 times 4, 12. 12 times 5, that's 60, which is equals to 60 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.